Hey everybody, I'm Lance and I want to thank you for tuning in and I will be pouring through a spiky donut dog toy. I'm showing you my colors here and I'm working with some really beautiful pinks and blues and I have some metallics and some opaque colors and really one of the star players is that prism pour violet rose color you see there. Here I'm putting my white base coat down on my 18 inch wood round that I'm working on and the idea of this pour is kind of like doing an open cup pour through the spiky dog toy. Now I've seen this type of pour done on the Dirty Artist channel and I am putting my own kind of spin on it, pun intended, by doing a couple of different things. I am using a softer color palette and I am also using my white mixture which I wanted to give kind of like a cloud mixture sort of and see what that would do. If I could find a way to make a cloud recipe that would not take over and get too pillowy and then I lose the lines, but that would still give me kind of like that veiled kind of soft look that a cloud pour does and retain lines. And the recipe that I came up with does just that. I'm calling this recipe my white veil mix, and it consists of Floetrol, Artist Loft Soft Body White, Deco Art Satin Enamel Pure White, a healthy amount of the new Vivid Enamel Titanium White, and some Amsterdam Titanium White. I'll leave measurements for the veil white recipe in my description box. Now on the other pours that I've seen on channels like The Dirty Artist, they've poured the base color back into the center at the end of the pour, which creates kind of like that donut look, like with the hole in the center. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to create something that would resemble almost like a 3D flower from the center. I like finding interesting and unusual ways to do pours, and if you're finding this interesting, unusual, and maybe informative, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new content. Now I just want to take a second to just appreciate one of the things I love about fluid art. Just look at those paints. and the beautiful pattern that is being poured through the middle of that donut hole is just that's to me just so mesmerizing and so awesome to watch like I just love to see shots like that where you see that beautiful design being poured around the center so I want to talk to you about paint consistencies for a second for this pour and this particular type of effect that I was going for. I wanted things to be a little softer and a little bit more organic and I didn't want as hard a lines because I wanted it to kind of mix with the veiled white recipe and give me some idea of lines but not be really you know vibrantly hard as far as the lines go. So you want to keep your paints a, a little bit thinner than say when people do a strainer or you want to kind of my recipe was more like 60% flow trawl and 30% paint and or 40% paint and then a little water to thin if I needed it to so that I could get this kind of look because it did kind of achieve the floral pattern that I wanted through the center and it made it more 3d and even the way I twist this off, and you'll see it in a minute, um, it made things more 3D, but still gave me this softer kind of floral, ethereal looking image. So yeah, if you're trying to recreate this type of look, you want the base coat to be a little bit thinner and your paints to be a little bit thicker than the base coat, but not quite as thick as like your mound on a mound that you would do say for like a ring pour or straight pour. You want it to be more like a mound, a small mound that kind of fades away a little bit once it hits the paint. Now we're ready for the big reveal and if you'll notice something, I am instead of just twisting, I am slightly lifting the toy 
with the teeth up a little bit and then turning my cake spinner and I find that creates the best most symmetrical kind of twist if you're gonna do this and twist because you can do this and twist and then push more paint out by pouring and wait a while and then do another twist the other direction and it creates a really cool pattern doing that as well but I wanted this one to look more like there was a pocket and then my floral center was sitting in the middle of that pocket and that's what this did it created that 3d shape that I was after and if you look at it it does look like there's already before spinning that there's some depth to that and of course you see that beautiful floral center that I was hoping would be there and it was <laughs> I'm just gonna let you listen to the music and watch as that beautiful image gets spun around and opened up further Now you've, you've seen me shifting this around a lot as I'm spinning because I'm constantly checking and rechecking because if you see like a warble, like an off-centered movement to the center as you're spinning, you want to try to keep positioning it to where when you spin it you see more of a stillness to the image and that's how you know you're getting it more in the center still, not losing that center alignment, but also able to get the paint off that you need to get off. Now I wanted to thank you for being here for our new Saturday lineup called Perspectives in Pouring. And I am doing this each week now with my good buddy Sheldon of Shell Rock Art and Britta Clayton of Britt Clayton Designs. I hope that Perspectives in Pouring will be a nice compliment to our friends on the Sunday Fun Day train. And I hope it'll make it a little easier for everyone to catch all our videos. I'll leave links to today's lineup in my description box. Now you're seeing that beautiful center that the twist off of the dog toy made. It's really kind of beautiful and floral like. It almost looks like a tulip or a peony blossom. And, and yeah, I just love that. And I love the way the that violet rose prism pour color looks in this. It really is, like I said, a star player in, in this piece. And I am a color art affiliate and if you'd like to try out some prism pour paints or some color art products I'll leave a link to color art in my description box you can use my code Lance Travis 622 and get a 20% discount off your entire purchase I just love how gorgeous the center of this flower like image turned out I mean, it almost looks like a rose inside of a peony there. You see that different type of blossoms. It looks like you've got the pink rose looking petals with the peony petals on the outside. Uh, just really turned out so cool and unusual. And that center also, so unusual. It almost looks like a landscape there as you're looking at it. And uh, just really cool shapes. and. I will also leave in my description box a link to where you could purchase the spiky donut dog toy for yourself and may maybe give this pour a try. Um, but there you can also see the violet rose, the sparkle in that kind of pinkish purple color that's so shimmery. Um, just really beautiful looking at the even the, the shapes of how the um, veil white um, mixed with the colors as it was pushed through the spiky teeth of the toy and I love kind of the texture and it created kind of like a neutral out of all those colors because of the pattern and because of the softness it created a nice contrast to highlight that beautiful floral center now if you've enjoyed my different perspective and approach to doing abstract beautiful fluid art using a dog toy please subscribe to my channel and when you do give this video a thumbs up and also ring the bell so you're alerted when I upload new content
After me, we will be headed over to my buddy Sheldon Briscoe of Shell Rock Art. Now, before the editing of this video, I was just in a pretty severe car accident and my car was totaled, but I thankfully made it out with just some decent whiplash. A pretty pretty good case of whiplash, but I am just wanted to I just wanted to say to all of my family, friends, subscribers, and Fluid Art family, I love you. And you all bring so much to my life. And tomorrow is never promised, and I don't think we say it enough. So I just want you to know just how much you mean to me.